Hey, thanks for checking out Add Motion. I'm going to do a quick primer to show some workflow and show how to do some cool looks. First of all, you're going to find Add Motion under the Effects tab, and for right now, let's just check out Move. So just drag and drop, and immediately you'll see some on screen controls. We have an A puck and a B puck. If you don't see the on screen controls, you may have Crop on, or Transform, or Distort, but as long as your clip is selected and it has to be selected up here as well. We have an A puck and a B puck. B puck can be dragged anywhere. A puck can be dragged anywhere. And wherever I have those set, that's where the move is going to go. And I can bring that off screen. I'm kind of bored of seeing title, so let's make it a little more fun. Style. Let's use offset. So that's fun. I actually want to do kind of a crop slide in reveal. Bring it down to here. Turn crop on. And if I can grab that handle, if Ken gets out of the way. Now I can do a crop. And when I play back, it does a nice little reveal, which looks really nice in things like a min. Oh, maybe not ice maybe ice, but with something like minimal, very clean. But I want to use offset. So now I've done a simple glide in, and now I want it to leave. Instead of thinking of it as an out, think of it as a secondary move. I need to place an edit. All moves are going to happen from the starting point, from your edit on. And as soon as I place an edit, it's reset and replays the move from A to B. I want it to be the opposite of that, so I'm going to select it, go up to move in the inspector, and I'm just going to switch it to B to A. Play back, and it slips right down. It starts a little jarring, and that's because it's on linear, takeoff as linear. I'll give it a little more character by changing it to back, and I want it full speed as it's hitting the second point, which is now A, since we're moving B to A, and so I'm going to change that to linear so that we're at full speed by the time we're hitting this point. Slides in, back, and away. And the reason that works is because the B point, going from A to B, then B to A, my B point is exactly the same. But instead of going down into the crop, I think I want it to come in and go a little higher instead. And because of that, I'm going to change the landing to Expo so that it slides into place. Now it's got a nice slide, and I like this first move, so I'm going to Option or Alt drag it. And let me extend it. Very cool. And now I'd like them both to exit screen right. Group that, turn it into a secondary storyline, I think of group. Place an edit, place an edit. I'm going A to B, B to A, so now I have to switch this again, A to B. Swap it here, and let me drag this out. I'll go somewhere like 1.15. And I can do the same for this, but now A to B, then B to A. So I'll swap it here and change A, lock horizontal. The locks are always going to lock to B. And if I have them both on back and linear, they should exit exactly the same. And if you saw, they don't quite have enough length on the clip to make it. The clip length has to be at least the length of the duration. And I think I want the second one to slip just a little bit. That's pretty cool. Alright, hopefully that gets you started and gives you an idea of how placing edits can create secondary moves, like moving something just out of the way, or performing an out. Hope that helps.